Hello everybody and welcome into Flash Friday. This fly fri fly day. This Friday we're playing Bubble Trouble. A game on miniclip.com. Um I remember this game being like the greatest thing ever, specifically my freshman year in high school, which would have been 2007. That gives you a bit of a reference how old this game is. Pretty dang old. But um it's got single player and double player options. Double player being two player. And um, you kind of work together but are also sort of competing at the same time, trying to pop as many bubbles as you can to get a high score. But at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter. It's mostly just you trying to beat the bubbles. Unless you're a really competitive kind of person, then never mind. And so um, how it works is you pop the bubbles if you hit them with your rope at all, even if they like run into the side whatever, and then the bubble splits up into bigger, or from a huge piece to a smaller piece, and uh, yeah, that's about it. They bounce higher when they're larger, which makes them easier to hit, and when they're tiny, you can see you just barely fit underneath it. Oops. You die in one hit, also. If a bubble touches you at all, you're straight up dead. Your lives are in the lower left. And, uh, yeah, so slowly gets harder and harder as the bubbles get smaller. And there's a time limit for each level. It's that little red bar that's slowly dwindling along the bottom. And then, um, other than that, there's like little random power-ups. I will talk about them as they show up. Because honestly, I haven't played this game since 2007. And like, I played for maybe five minutes before this video started just to make sure everything was working. So, um, don't call me an expert. Alright, so that is bonus time. And um, the little gold coin that fell down is just more points. Frick. I don't know if it is the case that at some point you get an extra life if you get enough points. But that would make sense. These things typically work like that. These things being old arcade games. Okay, another thing you can do is as you pop the bubbles, you can see they fly up higher and higher, and the roof is made of spikes. So if you manage to get bubbles to hit the roof, they friggin' instantly pop. And you get, I think, more points for it. It's all like, COMBO! So, kind of makes it sound like you'd get more points. But, I haven't played this game since 2007, so wouldn't know. Ah, frick. Okay, so, I suck at this, first off. Second off... It's kind of a good strategy to try to keep as few of the tiny bubbles as possible because they're harder to see and they're harder to avoid. So, all around, worse. But if you do a good job of managing them, there shouldn't be too many on the screen at once. So, usually the two, tec or the two techniques I can think of to get rid of them is to try to go right underneath them and pop it super quickly, or like shoot the rope up and then move off to the side and let it run into it. Okay, and so your rope goes away when it hits the roof, and you can see here that the roof is slowly lowering itself, which actually kind of makes the level harder and harder as time goes on. Well, we were basically screwed before we even started on that one. Alright, so we just died. And now we get to try again. And, um, yeah. So that, this is pretty much the whole game. The levels start changing up as you saw, like in those last couple ones. Um, like the first five levels or so are pretty similar. Just like, here's a huge room and some bubbles, pop them. And then uh, after that they kind of start doing a little bit different stuff. Okay, this is a, like a gun upgrade. If you shoot the thing, it will turn into a spiky chain that sits there for a while. So I'm not sure if the, that carries over between the levels. It does not. Okay. So yeah, I used to play this all the time with Reggie in high school during um, what should have been social studies, like at the end of the class or whatever, or before class we'd sit in the back on the computer and just play Bubble Trouble like a ton. We used to be pretty good. The sucky thing is it's um, keyboard controls, and so player one uses the arrow keys and the space bar, and then player two uses WASD. So if you want to play with a friend, you're like just fighting for elbow space as you try to huddle around the keyboard and destroy these evil bubbles. So, it's definitely not 
design with ergonomics in mind, that is for sure. And yeah, this is basically exactly like I remembered it. Um, I think we always had the sound effects turned off because we were in class or whatever, but um, that's... Hey, we did it! Um, yeah. I don't know, they're pretty minimalistic. No background music. Kind of makes the awkward silence incredibly awkward when I'm not saying anything, which puts the pressure on to keep talking. But that also makes me feel like I don't know what to say sometimes. And so, all in all, more awkward experience than I was expecting. But hey. It's worth it. I guess. Alright, so this level screwed me over a few times, even when I was just practicing earlier. And it doesn't really look like we did it very cleanly this time, but uh, we got away with it and worked out. Oh my gosh, what am I doing? Had it like a little miniature stroke there and just slammed the keys back and forth, and I got myself killed. But I think that was our first death. And I seem to remember that there are more upgrades as you go on farther through the game. So, don't worry, we haven't seen all the stuff quite yet. Hey. Oh, look at all that. Delicious bonus time. Oh my gosh. Oh, we're getting chased. Oh, we're getting chased. Thank goodness for delicious bonus time. This level freaking takes forever. But we did it. Oh, that's delightful. A dollar. Another dollar? Oh, tasty. So, oh my gosh, that was so close. Um, I think I maybe made a mistake there in the beginning, popping that red ball. It was just bouncing, like, up and down vertically. And, um, so if I had just, like, basically decided that that was partitioning the room in half, I could have not even had to worry about it for the whole time. But after I popped it, it started actually becoming an issue. But, oh my gosh. Yeah, let's not mess with it this time. And then we won't have to worry about it at all until we want to at the end. Oh, hey, the ray gun. Yeah, I'm not really sure if the ray gun is, technically speaking, a good upgrade. I guess it shoots up more quickly, but, uh, at what cost? Can't do the fancy shooting, shooting loot techniques. I don't know, the Robin dodge. We just throw the thing up and run away, which is pretty safe. It's kind of slow. But it's safe, so that's pretty good, especially considering how hard you get punished if you even make one mistake in this game. I do not know where they found all these backgrounds. I seem to remember generally having a lot of issues with this level because this bubble is just so stupid huge. I feel like we were only popping those as quickly as we were popping the other ones before, but now we're getting combos for some reason. And I think I'm also doing this in just about the worst possible way, by splitting up the bubble into a ton of tiny bubbles, which is creating more problems for myself. So I'm going to try to avoid that huge bubble, and hopefully kill a bunch of these tiny guys that I got coming over towards me now. Oh, we're so screwed. It's all over. Oh! Oh no! Alright, last life. Smart Cameron. Oh, praise the Lord, that was a couple of huge bubbles that just got popped. Oh my gosh, please no. I suppose the ray gun would be good for combos. Oh my Lord, please no. Well, game over. Let's cut back to when we get back to this level. So I will see you all in a moment.
<laughs> Alright, so getting back to level 12 is proving to be a legitimate difficulty for me. So, what we're going to do now is skip right to the special ending and introduce Hyper Cheater Mode, where we bind the keys for player 1 and 2 to be the exact same thing. And, um, then we're set for life, because we can do two players. We've got the same controls, so we can move them both at the same time, shoot at the same time. And we can just stack them up in the same space. And bam! Twice, twice the power. Um, normally I would have waited until a little bit later in the video, but turns out getting to level 12 is actually straight up super hard. Yeah. Skipping right to the big finish right now. Oh, and it turns out you get another life at 25,000 points. And it also turns out the ray gun is really good. Because um, you can actually shoot by holding constantly. It'll shoot as, like, if you just hold down the button, it'll shoot as fast as you possibly can. And um, the ray gun, like, accelerates really, really quickly. So um, if you hold to, like, either direction, if you hold either side, and then um, you just hold fire down constantly with the ray gun, you'll, like, very quickly bump the bubbles up into the roof and uh, get a combo pop or whatever. So yeah, your guys do pretty frequently get like, split up when you have the controls binded to the same thing, or bound to the same thing. But it doesn't really matter, they don't get moved around too badly. Whoa. But I also think the time does drop twice as fast. So you do have to work more efficiently. But obviously it's not hard. Nice. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh no. Freaking blue. Oh, you also get twice as many lives. So there's that too. So yeah, setting the controls to the same thing really is hyper cheater mode, but it's way more fun. So go ahead and do it. Enjoy yourselves. It's a celebration. Oh my gosh, see, like, weird stuff like that happens, like, two bubbles popping at the exact same time, so it kind of looks like the bubble just splits into one thing. Weird stuff, guys. Definitely makes it a lot easier to protect yourself and also get combos. But then the ending, like it, this part gets kind of tricky. Because, oh my gosh, this is not a good setup for this at all. Alright, never mind, we've completely fixed it, and it is now a great setup. I think in two-player, if one of the people has a ray gun, it's going to get confusing pretty quickly, though. All right, maybe we can experience that now. Well, probably not. We're trapped on the side of the map. Oh, time is running out, but I think we got it. Nice. Okay, so we're already back to level 10. Took me like three tries to get here on solo again. So getting back here this quickly on our first shot... But cheater mode is starting to really make me think that cheater mode truly is super cheaty. But I also don't feel too bad about it because A, it's a flash game. It's like a flash game you just play by yourself. So, ow. Cheating's not really that big of a deal, I suppose, in this situation. Whoa, hey yo. That, whoa ho. Not sure how or why that happened, but it definitely basically just beat this level for us. Oh my gosh, no. 
Let's see if we can't do that again. That was pretty ridiculous. Yep. Pretty ridiculous. Alright. So that instantly cut the size of the bubble in half. And now these bubbles are like the size of level 1. So... If we can't win this one, I'll be very upset with myself. Oh my gosh, no, I'm very upset with myself! Oh no. Oh, we've messed up. Oh, we goofed. Oh! Oh yeah, so this is an anti-bubble shield. We're now invincible. Oh, we are about to die, though. Look at all these tiny bubbles. Super doomed. Alright, player two only has one life left. I wonder if player two is slightly taller than player one, or something. Oh, nice. I think we're basically back to that position we were in a moment ago, where it was almost level 1 bubbles. Nope. Those were slightly larger than level 1 bubbles. The Infinity Shield does not really work um, when you're cheating. Because both your people are going to be in the same place. Holy mother! And, um... One of them's going to have a shield and one of them's not, so the bubble's just going to hit the dude that doesn't have a shield, so... There is that downside. However, I would say double the damage is probably more of an upside than your shields don't work being a downside. Whoa, what is this? Oh my gosh, oh please no! Well, blue is dead. Alright, no longer cheating. Shields are now excellent. These bubbles are ridiculous. Look how high they're bouncing. I hadn't really thought about it until just now. Also, they were alternating green and yellow. Go ducks. Oh my gosh, it's terrifying because you don't really... Well... They're green and yellow bubbles, and then huge portions of the background is green and yellow, and so you kind of can't really see them, and then they just appear out of nowhere to airstrike you, and it's like, whoa, hey, whoa, whoa calm down. Alright, this is interesting, because this level is going to take forever to complete. Oh my gosh, please no. Oh good, more time. Oh good, an invincible shield. Oh good, it's gone. Oh my gosh, these backgrounds are so vivid. It's ridiculous. And you wouldn't think that this game would be colorful and happy based on the title screen, which is like a smug looking devil dude in a trench coat with torches behind him making really loud fire sounds. You'd be like, wow, this game is probably really bleak and hateful. And it's just like, oh, bubble, 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 and all the rainbows, so happy, colorful, so many good times. Oh my gosh. Oh, we're really close. We're running up against the clock here. But I hope, hopefully, we got it. We did it. Whoa, what is this? Whoa, what, what is happening? Ow, right in my face. Alright, this is the section where you need and want a ray gun. Please no. I didn't mean it. I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. Oh no! So many things to focus on. I don't know if I've ever been this far. I didn't... <laughs> I don't want it. Please no. Eh. <laughs> okay, okay. Let's move on to the next easy one. A freaking ray gun. Okay, we gotta get in there and get that, guys. Cool. Die, please. No! <laughs> oh my gosh. Alright, here we go. This time for real. This time we got it for real. This time we're gonna be serious. This time we got it for sure. Okay, here we go. If I die here, I don't think I can take it anymore, guys. This video is probably like 15 minutes long or so, maybe less. But I've been playing this game for like an hour now. Because I kept failing at really high levels while, oh my freaking goodness, trying to get back to the place I was before. Oh my gosh. Freaking goodness.
Oh my freaking frickness. Eh. <laughs> Please no. Eh. How about some of this? Eh. Some of this? Okay, we got this one locked down. The clock is ticking away, guys. Oh, please. Oh, wait, can we cheese it? Can we stand, like, right here and have them... I guess not. I don't know how precise the hitboxes are, so I don't really know how close to this door we can stand without getting completely trashed. So, we're gonna stay a little distance away from that door, because we're doing okay right now. Ray gun? No. Standard. Snipey. Stabbies. Not that great. Not that exciting. Die, please. Die, please. Oh, crap. This is about as bad as it could have been. Oh, my lord. Did we get three in one go? That's ridiculous. Oh, my gosh. That was so hypnotic for one moment. Okay, here we go. Last one. Please don't mess this up, Cameron. So close to messing it up, Cameron. See, that's why I wanted the ray gun for this room. Eh. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Oh. Nice. Oh my lord. Oh lordy. This is a pretty large bubble for a very small room. Ah! Oh my gosh, no. Ah, okay, we're good. Good meaning safe, not skillful, because we all know that's not true. Oh, freak. So you can still shoot wires, <clears throat> excuse me, while you're underneath this little section, but uh, it's not going to pop anything, and right now we have the, oh, we might have picked up the standard rope, but before we had like the, um, yeah, this one, I'm going to call that the vine, whatever, and so we shot it up and it made a vine. And then it just doesn't go away for several seconds. Frick! Well. Please wait. I think that basically gives you a rundown of everything you need to know about Bubble Trouble. I hope you're completely enticed and want nothing more than to go and play this game now for six hours. So, um, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next Friday for a different Flash game here on dun -dun -dun -dun, Flash Fridays. Have a beautiful weekend, you beautiful people.